because I want to get to the bottom of who's fucking with us. Now, before we begin, anybody have any questions? I got one. Where's Nikolai? Taking care of the bodies with Tiger. All right, now we can get started. Now, Tracker, what were you yapping about on that computer of yours? Why don't you tell me, Al Plunger? You're the one who put it there. I ain't no Al Plunger, you dummy. I'm not the one who put those fishy files there. Why can't you just be honest for once and admit you did it, Al Plunger? All right, Tracker, you got me. I was going to surprise everyone, but you just have to ruin all the fun. I was trying to keep his identity a secret, but no, stupid, annoying tracker couldn't stop asking so many damn questions. You want to know so badly who the fuck it is? Well, I tell you, it's the damn janitor. What? It's through tracker. I am El Plonger. I gave you that USB. What the hell, Juan? I thought I told you to stop smoking, especially indoors. Don't you know that's a fire hazard? Come in there, do something. Hey, Juan, pass me a cigar. <sighs> What's the matter, Tracker? Damn. Oh, you dumbass! It's raining! Fine! Frank, you're the nutritionist. You know smoking is bad. Tell him to stop! Frank! Frank! Shut up, tracker. Oh, so now you want to be a little bitch, huh, Frank? I'm gonna break your jaw. Frank, you need to calm down. I don't like your attitude. <laughs> what the hell's your problem, Frank? You know what? Fuck you! <laughs> Stop that shit right now! You know damn well those things are cheap! <laughs> Tracker, keep your mouth shut! Frank, I understand you, Miss Jackson. I miss that son of a bitch too. We all do. But tossing mugs ain't gonna bring anyone back! If you can see what these eyes have seen. If you can feel the nightmares I live through every single night, I would have hanged myself years ago if it weren't for God himself. I can't even look myself in the eyes no more through the mirror without my fucking sunglasses. But you don't see me tossing no damn coffee mugs. Job is done. Their permanent slumber has been activated. We took good care of them. Alright. Good job to both of you. Have a seat. We stand me. I heard coffee mugs being smashed. What's going on? Basically, it's basically what Tracker's trying to say is that he's sorry for what he did. Come in there! That's not what I was trying to say! It is, if you know what's good for you. So basically not important. Exactly. What is plan of operation? I don't know. That's what we're trying to find out. Then what do you know? And I'll start it with that damn helicopter. Helicopter? What was John doing there? What was he carrying? Does it matter? He's fucking dead now! Yes. Maybe that's the reason why. We need to know. Well... Uh... Tell them, Marquez. Tell them the truth. Tell them what we did. <clears throat> oh, oh boy. Tell them how I warned you. Nothing good would come out of this. They deserve to know. What are you hiding from us, Commander? Oh, wait. I see it now. You're the traitor. I should have listened to Daniel. He was the one who wanted to know what was on your computer. And that's why you sent them out there, so they wouldn't tell anyone. That's not true. I ain't no fucking liar. You know I care about them. You only care about yourself. That's why Eric's dead. Who else died because of you? Where's Harry? Where's Ben? That's a good fucking question. I don't know. Why don't you tell me? You're fucking crazy. I made you dead, Tana. Just like you tried to kill me with that revolver when I was delivering your pizza. Oh, well, good fucking job. I specifically asked for pepperoni, and you fucked up my order. You gave 
gave me cheese and it didn't even look like cheese. I had to throw it out. And you, stupid fuck, you and that stupid pizza manager ruined my whole day. Now I see why they cut your fucking legs off. Fuck you! At least I was a stab buddy, unlike you. I have a fucking name. It's Richard Gold, you crazy bastard. Oh, nice to meet you, Richard Gold. My name is Abraham Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln was honest. Yeah, and Richard Gold had legs. Commander, you see, nothing would come out of it. Tell them the truth. They deserve to know. This is your fault, Juan. You have to bring all this shit up. We can keep hiding this. For there is nothing hidden. That will not be disclosed. And nothing concealed. That will not be known. Or brought out into the open. To the right team, Marquez. Repent and confess your sins. Tell the truth, while we still have some respect for you. Spill the base, Commander. It's better we hear it now, while I still trust you, than later when I won't. Alright, alright, alright! <laughs> no more fucking lies! I come clean! I come clean! Tell me! I don't know what I tell you! Because... Uh, because I don't know I could live on myself! Everyone, I've been hiding things from you! You're not gonna like me after I tell you what I've done! <laughs> I sold drugs! You sold what? I thought you were the military. I knew it. You guys weren't real military. So you're telling me I was working for a criminal organization this whole time. You used us to sell drugs? No, not quite. When did this start? It started in 2008. Our funds were running dry and we needed money. Fast money. We were desperate for an answer. Then John came up with the idea. He said he had connections, and knew how to get money, a lot of money, and fast. I asked him how. He said, magic, whole lot of magic. I asked him what that meant. He said we played a dope game. Uh, Commander, what does dope mean? It was my nickname in school. Drugs, it means drugs. Why would they call me that? Because they're assholes. That's life, get used to it. Anyways, I told John, no, we were the military. Back then, when I used to fucking mean something. We were supposed to stop the drug dealers, not join them. And then a few weeks passed, and things weren't getting better. I really didn't want to, but I saw no other option. I told John, fine, let's do it. But we had no supply. He said we'll grow it ourselves. I wondered how. Then I remembered El Plunger did some shady things back in Mexico. He knew how to grow shady crops and grow them damn well. He could grow an orange out of his ass if he wanted to. I asked him to help us out. He said no, no more. He was done with that shit. That's not all I said. I know what it leads to. You lose friends, you lose your family, and then your life. I told you it would only be in suffering. I lost everything. And so would you. But no. You wouldn't fucking listen. That's why everyone died. Because of me. Because I listened to you. It was supposed to be a one time thing. But no. You kept pushing for years. It wasn't enough for you. You wanted more. It was never enough. It was gonna be enough. This was our biggest deal. The last of the last ones. John had a contact that promised us $500,000 for this shipment. Every deal till this was just to stay afloat. But this, this was special. This one was our retirement, so we could quit for good. This was really the last time. John radioed back, said he delivered the shipment, and got the money. He was on his way back home. This was supposed to be a happy ending. But midway, his signal was lost. No thanks to that stupid storm, he never came back. Commander! Didn't you check the weather? You know it's a bad idea to fly during a thunderstorm. You think I don't know that? I did check the weather. It was supposed to be sunny all day. Wait, who'd you sell it to? How the fuck do I know? Why don't you ask John? So you made drug deal with customer you don't even know. 
How irresponsible. John knew it was his contact. And he never told you? No. No, he didn't want me to get involved for safety reasons. Not get involved? Sounds like he played you and took money. But I saw the crash helicopter on Daniel's live recording. There was a skeleton in the pilot seat. That had to be John. Trekker, do you know how long it takes human body to decompose underwater? No. That's why you fell for obvious bait. That was not John. You don't even have footage. I didn't tell Commander Smith my computer. No, I did. did. I did. I did smash your computer, and it was a stupid damn mistake. Tracker didn't lose it. It was me. It was me who broke it. <sighs> and it had the evidence of the helicopter, the shark, and Daniel's and Joey's last words. Stupid monkeys! <sighs> of course. Wait, Tracker, can't you just recover hard drive from broken computer? That's the problem. After Commander went off football on my laptop, I couldn't even find it. You must have thrown it away, Commander. I don't remember throwing it away. I did. What? Why? Relax, Tracker. I have it. It's in my closet. Oh, thank God, Juan. You're the best. Can you bring it here? See. Sí. And Tracker, call me El Plunger. Nicola, bring in the projector, will ya? Affirmative. Projector? What the hell is that? Weapon? No, Tiger, it's not a weapon, but it is useful. Oh, why is it important? How about I show you once we get it set up? It's easier to explain that way. Okay, I wait. You fellas sure are a strange bunch. I don't even know what to say. Then why are you talking? Who asked you, Dingleberry? I thought you were the quiet one. <laughs> Don't even think about it. Commander, can I ask you something? Of course, Frank. What is it? I'm sorry for being a bitch. It's just, I knew Jackson since middle school. And now he's gone. He was my only friend growing up. It's like, it's like losing a brother. How do you deal with it? Oh, well that's simple. You don't. You just learn to live with it. Welcome to my world. I could have gave you sugar-coated shit and said it'd be all right. But I said no more lies. I appreciate that, Commander. I got it, Tracker. I made sure it did not get wet. Awesome. Hopefully it still works. Gentle, Tracker. Gentle. I know. There. I got it now. Now I just need to transfer the file. Okay, it's done. Now all I gotta do is connect it to the projector. Whoa, you're so smart. Just like a robot. Uh, yeah, alright. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Commander, get the lights. I got them. What the hell's wrong with the projector? Don't you have a better one? Why don't you buy me a better one? Wretched gold! There we go. You just gotta smack it a few times. Stop it right there. That's clearly not John. That same skeleton model I saw at Chichiwaka department store last year on clearance. Huh? What? In other words, it's fake. But damn, I'm gullible as hell. I like the humility, Tracker. It suits you nicely. Thanks, Nikolai. If that's true, then where did John go? He obviously catfished me. He took the drugs and the money. I knew John longer than you. He wouldn't do that kind of thing. Every single time he made a deal, he'd always make sure to bring the money back here. Until money was too good. 500000 was his sellout price. Well, it's not like you don't have skeletons in your closet. Actually, I do. I bought the same ones from Chichi Walker. They make excellent target practice. That's how I recognize models so well. I feel like you're right, Nikola. But it's just so out of character for John. Is it? He was one with connections. He wanted to keep you in the dark for a reason. 
That's the biggest red flag if I ever saw one. Damn it! That son of a bitch! He used me from the beginning! Damn it! Uh, anyways... Who cares about the knife? Look at my engine! That's twenty-five thousand dollars gone! How much did you say you pay for it? Twenty-five thousand dollars? For that piece of shit? Why didn't you just ask me to build you one? It's not shit! It was special military grade! The seller said it could even work on sand! He had Chinese investors offering him fifty thousand dollars! I could've let one of those damn commies get to it first! That's my engine! So you're the one who fucking scared me! I ain't sell it for twenty-five thousand dollars! Are you crazy? I sold it for a thousand! To who? Billy Bob Joe Swindle 69! Damn it! That's the same asshole sold it to me for twenty-five thousand! I wish I knew you sooner, brother. I would have rather sold her to you instead. You're a good man, Donald. Why, thank you. So, not only did you lose drugs, $500,000, you also made foolish financial decisions without thinking. And it cost us all 25000 on top of all our losses. Remind me again why you're in charge of financial decisions. Because I fucked up, okay? You didn't have to rub it in. Now let's just finish the damn footage before I lose my shit! <laughs> oh shit! Yeah. Yo! Damn, that's Joey. What the fuck happened to him? Is this a horror movie? Worst, it's real life and you're in it. Change the channel, Commander! <laughs> this is wrong! That's <laughs> it! That's it! Son of a bitch! Son of a bitch! Son of a bitch! Son of a bitch! It's for us all, the one who took my arm away! Damn! You're handicapped just like me! Handicap? I don't have handicap! What kind of tool is that? It's not a tool, you idiot! It's what happened to us! Handicap didn't do this! It was for us all, you stupid idiot! You got some serious problems! You need to see a psychologist! Oh, and you don't? You actually believe you're rich in gold! That's just sad! Don't you have a play to attend to, Abraham Lincoln? John's waiting for you there. I'm about to bankrupt your fucking skull with that wheelchair. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's stop this before I have to dig another grave. So, pizza boy, pizza manager said two assholes cut your legs off. Is this true? No, don't believe that manipulative piece of shit. So it was, pizza manager. Yes! He beat me and forced me against my will into an old rusty bow to get him so fucking stuck around me! He knew it was out there! It was a good joke to him! I thought I was gonna be a coward! Luckily it only ate my fucking legs! Interesting. So who bandaged you up? It was Pizza Manager! He bandaged me up because he couldn't find a replacement! You wanna tell walk me until I can't be exploited no more! Have you seen his eyes? He has no fucking soul! He only pretends to help you while exploiting you for everything you have! He was the same guy who sold me that poison hot dog in the 90s, which put me in a coma for six months! Once I got out, my company went to shit! I was bankrupt! I lost my connections! My treasures and my retirement fund! So I did the next best thing! I climbed to the top of the gun tower and took the fuck off! And landed in a dump truck! Unfortunately, I survived! I woke up in the jungle! In my underwear, nobody! A fucking nobody! Eventually, I found a motorcycle! Hey, where you going with my baby sour, bitch? I've been a road hobo for years. Until pizza manager found me under that bridge with the other hobos. I'm a pigeon. I'm a pigeon. 
Did you see the rats last night? They were fat and ugly. They ate my mattress. He offered me a lot. Throw it out a place to stay. He could have picked any of them. But he said I was special. I had a motorcycle. He picked me. It was only my second day working there. When I was delivering the pizza to you. And you tried to fucking shot me. It wasn't me who fucked up your honor. I was only doing what he told me to. Deliver cheese pizza. You should have fired shots on him instead. You're right. I'm sorry. I should have shot that bastard when I had the chance. You remember this too well for someone with amnesia. It was Tracker who helped me realize who I was. He got on the internet and showed me what happened to the city. He showed me Richie Gold. I didn't know who the hell he was talking about. How could I believe him if I never even heard of Richie Gold? But then, he showed me the Gold Tower. That Gold Tower, the, the memory just started to flood back. Hmm. Interesting. That would explain why Richie Gold was missing. And they could not find his body. If you did land in dump truck, that validates reason why there was no body splattered on street. That's what I was trying to tell you, Commander. Pizza Boy is Richie Gold. Not this shit again. You're not buying any of this shit, are you, Nicola? Once you eliminate the impossible, whatever remains, no matter how improbable, must be truth. I want to believe. Yeah, it's better explanation than aliens and angels. If I can believe George Washington crossed the Delaware on that little boat, I can believe this. Forgive me, Richie. I just got problems. I'm sorry I tried to shoot you. Welcome to the army. I forgive you. As crazy as you are, we just have to move on with life. Otherwise, we'll end up reliving our hell every day. Amen to that, brother. And Tracker, I'm sorry for being a maggot when you try to show me the truth. Ah, oh, what the hell? I forgive you too. Now that we have digested that dilemma, we can move on to main course. Right, Nikolai. Let's get back to the shock. Frank, you were the last one to see Jackson. what you see? I was in the middle of making peanut butter and banana sandwiches. When I heard Tracker bust through the door, screaming, he said a shark ate his drone, and everyone needed to get away from the water. I knew Jackson and others were on the dock. I busted through the door to warn them. I only, I only saw Jackson before I could even get halfway. That fucking monster busted out and snapped him like a twig. Jackson crawled with half of his body. The last thing he said was, Frank, help me. And then he died in my arms. I was too late. Shit, yeah, Frank. Wait, so where's Harry and Benjamin? I didn't see them all day. I did. I saw those two idiots. They were chilling by the water. I screamed for them to get out. Once I made it downstairs, they were gone. All I found was Frank weeping over what was left of Jackson's body. Oh, damn it. That's just all I needed. All this shit was happening while that stupid clown distracted me. Distracted? Hmm. Is it not strange how that shark always seems to know where we are? An attack when we were at our weakest. You said Sam had knife in his back, and the clown escaped. How exactly? I don't know how. When we came back, Sam had a knife stabbed in his back with a note, and the wall had a giant hole. What I don't get is how it got there. I didn't hear no explosion. What did note say? The note had the Black Widow symbol. In the words, you're next. I was about to kill that stupid clown. Sam came in and said we were under attack. It was for us all. Perfect timing, don't you think? The shark seemed to strategically attack to give Clown a window of opportunity. You're right. Why else would they destroy the boat? No one was on it. He wanted us to focus on it. Now the pieces are coming together. What I don't understand is how the Clown cut himself free. Especially with someone like Sam watching him. Maybe he wasn't alone. 
Maybe someone rescued him. Who'd want to rescue that piece of shit? Black Widow! Maybe. But it's unusual for Black Widow to expose themselves like this. They usually hire someone else to cover their tracks. Kind of like the buffoons that were with him when we arrived at the pizzeria. The same buffoons who attacked the police the night we were chasing him down. Pizza manager escaped. But where did he go? Notice how when we went outside there was no car. Yet obviously they had to have some means of transport. Not to mention we clearly heard them pull up. Clearly the driver stayed behind. Because we killed everyone, aside from clown we captured. So, it could not have been anyone that we did not see inside. Now, as an experienced mechanic, I recognized the sound of that car engine. It was exactly the same engine from the car that we were chasing that night. Now, going back to today, again, same car crashes into our base. And who was driver? The missing guy from the shootout. The other guy during our Humvee chase. Is it also not strange how the same car that attacked those police officers from the night knew where our base is and came to kill us right after attack? And those guys were connected with Pizza Manager. And as Richie said, Pizza Manager knew about Shark. They are all interconnected. Now all we have to do is put pieces together, and we will see entire picture. By trying to cover it up, they only expose themselves. Now, it raises two questions. One, where did they take Pizza Manager? And two, who told them our location? Pizza Boy, help me and Richie. How did you know where to deliver that pizza? Pizza Manager told me the location. That son of a bitch must have wiretapped us. Impossible! You can't wiretap a wireless phone! You're right, but you can trace it. That's what I meant to say. Yes, but how the hell could they get past my firewall? Not to mention, I set up all the phones to randomize the metadata. Metadata? What do you mean? It means our location is randomized every single time they call. So instead of tracking our real location, they'd be tracking a false location. Alright, so then how they find us? Either they already knew our location, or their computer skills far exceed what I'm capable of. And I doubt Pizza Manager has computing skills, so clearly someone had to help him out. It probably was the Black Widow. Richie, did he tell you anything else? How did he know the location? Did you overhear anything while you were working there? I only knew Pizza Manager had two regular customers. Aside from you, nobody ordered pizza, which seems strange. How do you run a business without advertising and being so isolated from the city? Sounds like front to me. Just to be clear, what did these guys look like? Did one wear sunglasses with brown hat and the other had mustache with Italian accent? Yeah, that's them. One of them was named Mario. Hmm. Did they say anything out of the ordinary? They were always in a hurry. Uh, I overheard them call this crazy guy who really wanted their pizza. From what I got, he was the one giving them the orders. So, these two were pawns in this scheme, working for Black Widow. But, what I still don't understand is, Commander, how did you get their number in the first place? When John didn't call back, I got worried. I sent Eric on the SDV submarine to investigate John's last known location. In the meantime, I decided to investigate John's room. I usually don't go through people's stuff unless there's a good fucking reason. Maybe there was something he wasn't telling me, or a clue to what could have happened. Unfortunately, everything seemed normal. I felt like a fucking hypocritical asshole, violating someone's privacy for nothing. Sounds like... Typical government behavior. On the way out the door, I found a handwritten card on the floor. It had Sanuet Pizzeria with a number written on it. It didn't look like John's handwriting, though. John always told me about his great local pizza place. That must have been it. That's when I got a distress call from Eric. I started losing my shit, but I had to keep my cool. 
Haven't been this paranoid since Vietnam. I could have calmed my nerves down. Maybe I could calm down my stomach. The paranoia was giving me bad gas. Wait, so what was on that computer you were trying to hide? Gas remedies. I could have let it out. Wait, wait, maybe it was that coleslaw salad. Coleslaw? We didn't have coleslaw. Yeah, you did. You were preparing it outside in the garden with help plunger. Aye, aye, aye. So that's where it went. Where the what went? Commander, what you consumed was compost. Now you tell me. No wonder it was so bitter. I thought that's just how healthy eating is. I had to down it with mayonnaise. So that's what I get for trying to eat more healthy. You know, Commander, forget I ever asked. Let's just move on. Commander, did John ever take you to pizzeria? No. And you did not find this odd? He's been yapping about that same pizza place for years. We just never gotten around to it. He said it was a surprise once we finished the big deal to celebrate. Probably because he wanted to ambush you there. Then why didn't he? Something tells me it was not John's intention. If he wanted to keep the money all to himself, he would have simply not returned, which is exactly what he did. You're right, Nikolai. That makes a crap ton of sense. He probably staged the whole thing to cover his tracks. By pretending he died, he can get away with the money all to himself. He's probably relaxing in a nice place, laughing at you right now, while his surprise contacts are trying to find you. For all we know, he might even took the drugs and sold them counterfeits to get rid of you. And divert their attention so he can make clean getaway. That would also explain why we've been constantly under attack after that stupid deal went sour. Damn, that makes a lot of sense when you lay it all out. I bet they're commies. Don't be rushing to conclusions. We do not know their identities. Nikolai, I know who they are. They are Black Widow. Who else could they be? Very likely, but not concrete. We still need to discover how Pizza Manager and Shark are connected to John. Remember how John did not want to expose his connection to you, for safety reasons. Well, this may explain why he knew about Pizzeria and even had their number. Richie, did you ever hear the name John being a reference while you were working there? No, nothing like that. I mean... I only been there for two days. Hmm. Likely, he wanted to take extra precautions. As for John's connection to the shark, why was it in that specific location if sharks not connected to helicopter? It was there when Eric looked for helicopter. It was there when Daniel and Joey said goodbye. What was it guarding? Then it was near Sandy White Pizzeria, another hotspot of Black Widow. As I said. The more pieces we have, the clearer the picture. Why is the shark smarter than most? That is not normal shark behavior. I tell you, it was a demon. It's like the shark was controlled by pizza manager. He, he wanted to teach me a lesson. To make sure I wouldn't run away, he even took the only laugh. My only laugh. My motorcycle. And got it in a fucking wheelchair so I would never stop walking for him. So you're saying it's his pet? How the hell do you domesticate a fucking shark? You'd be surprised what you can domesticate. I had pet bear named Potapovich. I teach him how to shoot with Kalashnikov and Gorilla Tactics. You taught a bear military secrets? What, wasn't being a bear deadly enough? It never hurts to be prepared. Ever heard of Wojtek? No, what's that? Look it up sometime. You have computer. I'll look it up right now. Yo, guys, it's moving, it's moving. Turn on projector. That can't be right at all. It's going inside the island. Is this thing broken? No, it's working just fine. Then why did the signal just fade? Obviously, shark is underneath island. Likely an underwater cave of some sort. That's why signal was cut. Gee, thanks for pointing that out. You're welcome. Well, that island must be the source of all of our problems. I need to wrap my head around this. 
I need to come up with a plan. In the meantime, you men get some good sleep. Tomorrow we're gonna test our skills. You're not planning to send us to that island, are you? You'll find out tomorrow. Now get some sleep. But Commander- Tomorrow! Don't make me use my shovel again. I just washed it.